Hi, this is Mike from This Old Relic, and today we're going to go look into that ABS problem. So there's something I should probably clarify when I said it shouldn't be a problem if your ABS light goes on. There is a problem if your ABS light goes on. However, it's probably not a problem if you're far away from home or something like that that you have to take care of right away. All it means is your ABS won't work, which means you'll have to, if you slam on your brakes, you might have to pulsate, you know, pump the brakes like this in order to get them to you know turn the wheels if you need to turn the wheels other than that uh, you should be able to drive and the brake system should pretty much work normally and it doesn't mean that there's not a big problem as you're gonna find out in this video so well let's get into this video you might notice the white stuff behind me it's snowing, you know, the stuff no one wants. Well, I'm getting ready. Truck's prepped up, but I have this annoying ABS light on in my truck. I don't have the speed sensor slash ABS sensor to replace right now, but I'm going to try to do something with it and at least check things out to see how difficult it's going to be to get off. So we're going to go clean up some electrical connections, and i got to go get this backed into the garage because I don't want to sit here and lay down in the snow to, to do this. We got backed into the garage. I can't get this thing to fit in here and close the garage door but at least this keeps me out of the snow let's uh go ahead underneath the truck and try to find this thing and we'll see if we can uh well get it cleaned up all right well, i was hoping i can get underneath here without putting it up on the jack i got, actually got quite a bit of space so that's that's pretty good so what we're going to do let's see if i can actually get the camera in here or not It's a brake line. Oh, wow. Okay, that doesn't look good. Um, yeah, I got a bad speed sensor. So that's going to have to get replaced. Um, I might actually even want to try to drive around see if I can find one at an auto parts store. Now my wife's car isn't home. But yeah, that, that's bad. That's very bad. So yeah, I'm going to go take some uh, drive around and see if I can't find something. That's, that's definitely not supposed to be like that. Got my speed sensor, stopped by the auto parts store. Paid a little more for it than I anticipated. When I went online at the auto parts store, there the cheapest one I found was actually here at O'Reilly's, and it was $40. Uh, AutoZone was like 5 bucks more. But uh, on Amazon, they were only like 15 bucks. I was going to order one on Wednesday. I guess I should have done that, but I didn't. So this is where I'm at now. But, yeah, the, the snow's coming down pretty hard here. you got to check this out. I don't even know if you can notice it, notice it but, yeah, it, it's coming down really hard, and... This is going to be a pretty decent storm. We're going to get some good plowing in. Okay, now that I'm back from the store and done everything in my possible power to procrastinate on this, it's time we crawl underneath the truck and see what's making it tick. Well, not tick, but, you know, get things apart and get the part replaced. You know, put some dielectric grease in the fitting here. So when we plug in the electrical connections, it should get on both of them then. this program to give you this special news bulletin. If you like this content, I'm asking that you please like and subscribe to the channel and maybe leave some nice words of encouragement in the comment section. Thank you. We now return back to our regularly scheduled programming.
for the moment of truth. That's not good. I can try resetting it and we can try again. Okay, I got out the OBD2 reader and reset the code and it didn't pop right back on like it was doing before. So I think we, we did pretty good. Yeah, this last snowstorm seemed to put a lot of trucks out uh, on YouTube. I know there's there was just a lot of different things that was going on with, when I go through all of the different landscapers. Uh, a lot of landscapers, brand new trucks, they're going down. I mean, my excuse is it's 18 years old. I don't know what their excuse is. But anyways, looks like this problem is solved. So I'll see you next time.